March 24, 25th marks the six year anniversary of the release of Dean's debut EP, 130 Mood Trouble. Wadi has been in a few projects since then, such as the founding of his alternative collective and label You Will Know, and featured on tracks by other artists, fans have been wondering, what happened to Dean? So much that he has become the joke of Stan Twitter. Hey guys, welcome to another Soul Therapy video, this is Paloma. Before we get into the details of where Dean might be hiding, subscribe to the channel and leave us a thumbs up if you like the video. We're also running a competition to win the EP so watch until the end. Held as the R&B Prince of Asia and the most promising artist coming from the continent back then, Dean released his acclaimed debut EP in 2016 and since then, nothing. By nothing, I of course mean no second project which you would expect soon after a rather successful one. There has been a lot of speculations regarding his lack of activity such as his possible enlistment, his mental health, a perfectionist mentality or a potential conflict with his label Universal Music. Regardless, we shall take a closer look at this theory today in the hopes of providing a sense of understanding for Dean's absence. Dean turns 30 this year and 31 in Korean age and as a South Korean male citizen, he would have been required to have performed a mandatory two-year military service before the age of 28. While many Korean celebrities inform their fans via social media of their upcoming enlistment, there is no obligation to do so. When looking at Dean's rarely updated social media accounts, he tends to focus on promotional activities which could allow for his enlistment to go unnoticed. However, there are clauses stated within the Military Service Act, such as mental health disorder, which allow qualifying men to be exempt. Dean has been part of the music industry since the age of 16, writing and producing for famous acts, and has built a promising high-profile career in a short amount of time. The name Dean became synonymous with R&B Prince of Asia from 2016 onward due to producing award-winning hits such as The Half Moon featuring Keiko. Even the founding of his collective You Will Know in 2017 was during a busy year of producing commercial appearances, touring and acting as a judge on Show Me The Money 6. Undertaking such a vast workload would leave anyone burnt out. A fast-paced youth with high expectations likely put a strain on Dean's creative process and mental. It becomes clear with the release of Instagram in December 2017 that it is not only burdened by expectations but societal pressures too. Dean uses the social media platform throughout the song to express how no one knows his hidden feelings just by posting these pictures. By reducing public appearances and taking time to himself, the pressure to constantly produce successful music has hopefully eased, as many simply just want Dean to release new music. In an attempt to appease fans, Dean has been promising a new album since 2017. <laughs> 나를 위로해 주고 내가 듣고 싶고 그런 곡을 만들자. 그럼 누구는 위로를 받을 수 있고 누군 듣고 싶지 않을까라는 생각에서 아무도 신경을 안 쓰고 온전히 제가 듣고 싶은 그런 앨범이에요. And while we're waiting for this to happen, he might be taking his time in the hopes of producing a perfect album. According to his bio on the You Will Know website, Dean has been relentlessly continuing to create a new wave of trends. In order to live up to that conviction and not disappoint fans, Dean could be taking his time to create a sound which he deems worthy to share. In the past, it took him 11 months between 2016 and 2017 to drop his double single Limbo, displaying his meticulousness when choosing what music to release. A time-consuming creative process in which Dean strives to emulate a fresh R&B style to produce satisfying music for both himself and his listeners could also be a contributing factor to the lack of new music. Another option is that he's waiting for an appropriate time to share what he has produced. Having been signed to Universal since 2016, Dean has managed to release his first EP, 130 with Trouble, single Instagram, Dayfly, Howling 404 under the label. 
With such notable work received music, it could be assumed that the company is vying for Dean to produce similar work, which could cater to the masses and generate revenue. However, since Dean has been producing music from a young age, it's only natural that its taste would change and develop over time, especially since working with this collective. A creative disagreement between the label and Dean could have easily caused him to take an extended break from releasing music, either because Universal does not approve of what he has produced so they're holding him back, or Dean simply wishes to share the music once he is no longer bound to the label. This has happened to many artists in the past so it wouldn't be a surprise. Please keep in mind that all of this is pure speculation as we don't know the exact terms of this contract or if the contract is still a thing even since it released Breath in 2020 under his own imprint you will know. What are your thoughts? It could be a mix of all four factors mentioned above or something else entirely. Regardless of where Dean might be, we hope he's well and make his appearance very soon with new music. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Comment with your favorite song from the EP and where you're from and share this video on Twitter tagging at soul underscore therapy for the chance to win a physical copy of the EP. I'll see you next time, bye bye.